chat. Hello. Wow, 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 wow. We're live, everybody. We're live. Welcome to the show. Welcome back to Nerve Center. We have a very, very special guest today, but um, how are you guys doing? Good. We also have uh, a special animal guest today. Another debut on Nerve Center. Exciting stuff. Big time. Big stuff. Decent. Good. 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 I saw all your emotes earlier. You you better be careful, okay? You're going to get me in trouble. Stepping on Garbazard. Please don't do that. Um, If you're new to Nerve Center, you guys, if you're new to the show, if you have not seen the show, Nerve Center is Twitch's way of leveling up creators across all categories. I am a rotating host on Nerve Center. Um, so stay tuned for other channels to get the Nerve Center treatment. But right now... Um, we're going to go ahead and do this episode. If you've seen it before, it'll be pretty similar, except this week we have a, a specialer guest, more special than any of the guests that we've ever had, arguably. Welcome to my stream. Welcome to Alves. Guys, this is Nerve Center. All right. Hello, everybody. Actually, welcome to Nerve Center. Now we're really in there. Now it's time to start. Um, first, each week on Nerve Center, our sponsor, Ally, is giving away some prize packages to help you level up your stream. We have had three winners so far. You could be the winner this time. Um, this week's winner is Hammy Boy, who uh, caught this moment when our crow got tired of waiting for Grace and defeat him, and he took matters into his own hands. He's loud. Yeah. Here, you want to give him Are those peanuts? Ah. It's a pecan. Ah. Pecan. Pecan. Oh. Ah. <laughs> he didn't even let me just. <laughs> he just stole the content. That was actually kind of funny. Ah. Congratulations, Hammy. You get 150 bucks worth of gear thanks to Ally. Ally's giving out more pr prize packages all season um, on Nerve Center. For your chance to win, clip your favorite moment from today and then tweet it with hashtag Ally Level Up and hashtag Sweepstakes. That's it. That's all you have to do. And then you could win $150 of gear for your stream or for whatever you do online. So start clipping, start shipping. All right. Makes sense, everybody. Are we all on the same page? Everybody feel good? Now uh, I have a very exciting special guest to introduce you to, everybody. Um, this is your daily dose of internet. Yay! Whoa, whoa. Is my mic on? Yeah. Right. Daily dose. Look, they're so excited. They're so excited. Hello, everyone. This is your daily dose of internet. <laughs> Here I am uh, with Maya, and we're going to look at some animals. <laughs> cool! Which, which, do I look at this one? Thank you. Um, it doesn't, um, it, right now we're on this one. Okay, we are looking at this one. Well, let me get closer. Can I get closer and do a really intimidating one? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I just want to see what I look like. Hello, everyone. This is your Daily Dose Internet. <laughs> Here I am with Maya, and we're going to look at some very strange animals. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Dude, that's so sick. He did the thing we're here. They're staring. All right, sweet. That's stare. They're staring at you. Incredible. Okay. Guys, Daily Dose loves animals. He has not met any of the animals yet. No. Um, and I'm going to introduce him to all of them, not all of them, but most of them. And it's going to be crazy. And it's going to be really sick. Can you tell them what? They already know what you do. They're, they're critiquing my mic. They're saying it's too high. Is this more professional looking? Yeah, it looks great. It's I've fun. never worn a mic like this before. So we're really up in the production. So basically your voice. No, can you tell them what you do? <clears throat> Yeah, hi. So I manage a YouTube channel with 15.4 uh, million followers on YouTube, uh, where I show the top trending videos from around the world, and I speak over it, and I try to make the world a better place through laughter and education and interesting clips where you might learn something new. That's so nice. He's so nice. This is so fun. The first one, Maya's comically large <laughs> cup. This is not that big. I feel like it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna start the first the first animal that I'm gonna show you. You have seen. He referred to him as a wide load. Oh yes, he is a <laughs> big, thick man, <laughs> and I want to touch him. 
you're gonna you're gonna touch him. Um, I'm gonna give you gloves. Actually, I'm gonna take these gloves. We're gonna yeah. have this. I'm gonna give you these gloves. So we have to wear gloves to handle him. I don't think I've ever held a toad before. Today's the day. Today's the day. I just love making memories. They already know today. Yeah. So it's Georgie. Why are we wearing gloves, chat? If you don't know why we're putting on gloves to handle the frog, we have a frog. He's an African bullfrog. Oh, it's a frog. Okay. Um, we wear gloves because he's an amphibian. All right. Which means he has semi-permeable skin, which means he absorbs stuff through his skin. I actually know this. Oh. I actually know this. So you know he knows I, a lot. I feel like you're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, I, I know. Well, no, I'm just saying because like I know that our skin, our, our, our the oils on our fingers and hands can like burn the frog, right? I don't know about. I guess if it was like something corrosive, it could burn. No, him. no. I mean, like, like it's like painful to them, right? Maybe not painful, but could make him sick. Okay. Unless I, you had some like corrosive material on your hand, I then it could be painful. Fa fake news, I guess. Oh no, <laughs> what, Connor? It see, can. Oh, see, okay. I, it can rip off. I'm not their making skin. this up. He's not making this up. He's right. He knows. Dude, I already can't reach Georgie, and now there's... Okay, I'm getting the frog, guys. He's just a little inaccessible Why is he wearing assassin moment. gloves? That's what they want to know. Those are large gloves. I'm oh, wearing gosh. medium gloves. Why? He, he looks so cold. <laughs> Did you like to hold him? Okay, I'm gonna... I just don't want to drop him. Just just support as much of him as you can. Okay, he's a, he's a wiggler. <laughs> He, I would put your other hand under him so oh, that he's like double serpent. Wow, <laughs> like, he's so meaty. Like hand under like this. Okay, like like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. There he is. Yay, George! Amazing. Good job. You want to show this camera? There he is. He, I love his his skin. He's like yeah, a George. He, <laughs> oh. Yeah. He's like a cheese. He does kind of look like a cheeseburger. You can put him in there if you would like. Uh, he want, he just wants to chill there. Yeah. So Georgie's an African bullfrog. This is the second largest frog <laughs> species in the world, but he is still a baby. He'll get even bigger. Oh my god! You know, show him what, what he'll look like when he's full grown, and then <clears throat> full grown, and then we'll show you what he looked like when he was a baby because he used to be st small and cute and tiny. He still is cute. So does he have bones? He does. Because he just looks like he doesn't. <laughs> He does have bones. Okay, so like, what is? Where's his skeletal structure it's here? It's right here. Okay, it's right there. There, look at look at baby George. <laughs> okay. He used to be. That was my hand. So he used to be like this big. Oh my god. Just gosh. like a little guy. And what happened to you? He grew up. Oh. He's like a stress ball. Ah, okay, he's kind of like a stress ball. Um, remember how I said that this was a fun <laughs> surprise for you? What am I supposed to do with that? You want to feed him? Oh yeah, I'll feed him. Is Chat. What do you think Georgie eats? Look, we have these now because we had a little incident. Is he hungry? Did you ask him? Yeah, he's hungry. He's always hungry. Like if I offered my finger, would he nibble it? <laughs> yeah. Really? Maybe. Perhaps. We, for the content? George. Do no, to... trust. You don't want him to bite your you finger. Would it hurt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, do you get like, is this going to make you like queasy? No. It's Because I... he eats mice. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably not want to see that, but... Uh... Do you want me to feed him? You, you, you better do that. You yeah, you better. You, you better want. do that. Okay, it's also worse because uh, we skin the mice so that he doesn't eat the. I'll just. Fur. Yeah. Okay, close your eyes, daily. No, I, mean, I, I can handle it. I just don't want to. George, do it. <laughs> are you hungry? Okay, I'm gonna feed Georgie. These are like. It's just I don't really know how to. I use didn't these. know they could eat mice. Yeah, he's a carnivore. He go, buddy. He go with face this way. He likes eating mice. He likes eating insects. Um, wow! Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's new tongs for me. Sorry. I didn't know that. Isn't he amazing? I thought they just kind of ate bugs and stuff. They do eat bugs, but he's a big guy. So So they eat just anything? Pretty much. Okay. First try. Crazy, huh? Crazy. He's usually not as good at that. He has teeth. So he's full now. He would eat another one, but we're only going to give him one. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the reason we have Georgie is because 33% of amphibians worldwide are at risk, uh -huh. um, because at risk of extinction, because they have this really fragile skin. So the skin being semi permeable is really important because they'll bury themselves in the wild like yeah. 10 months out of the year, just like underground. And 
they need to be able to absorb oxygen through their skin to yeah. survive being buried. But that also means that they can absorb a bunch of pollutants. I said it's kind of metal. Like, there's a little tail just a sticking little tail, out. Just a little spaghetti. Very, yeah, a little spaghetti. That's <laughs> kind of messed up. Yummy. See, you can see his teeth. Now you guys believe me? Do you see when he opened his mouth? So yeah. It's now he's not going to do it. Literally cause... forbidden spaghetti. That's what that yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. They're not actually true teeth, I think. But anyway, um, so they need it to absorb oxygen, but then also they can absorb pollutants through their skin. And so um, they're having a hard time in the wild because not all of our waterways are clean anymore. Oh. So sad. I'm sorry. Well, I'm, I'm glad you have a good home here where you can just kind of chill. Yeah. He's saying, did he get it? No. Well, it's <laughs> it's like slowly slurping in. Oh, my gosh. Look, you see the tail slowly going in. Yummy. Oh, my gosh. What a beast. He did it. He's amazing. What a man. You want to hear crazy? You love fun facts. You want to hear it crazy? It's not fun. <laughs> yeah, give me, give me a fun actually, fact. It's like, super not fun, but it's a fact. Okay. Um, So chytrid fungus is a pathogen that's affecting amphibians worldwide. One of the possible origins of chytrid fungus was they would bring African clawed frogs into the U.S. into the 60s as pregnancy tests. You know how pregnancy tests, we pee on a stick? Yes. Yeah. So before we had the disposable ones where you pee on a stick, um, they would inject frogs, the back of frogs, with female urine. And if the HCG, the pregnancy hormone, was present, then they would lay eggs. I did not know that. Isn't that crazy? That is a good And so they fact. brought a bunch of uh, African clawed frogs in the States, and that might be an origin of chytrid fungus. Wow. Okay. So, like, is this something our parents had to go through? I think. <laughs> I mean, our parents are probably... At the our age grandparents, where they had, yeah, grandparents, maybe. Okay, grandparents, maybe. But I mean, they weren't like. It's not like people had frogs in their house and they were like injecting their pee in them. It was like they would send their pee oh, off. Oh, they had to you inject? I thought you, I thought you said pee on them. Like, no, <laughs> I was like, why are we no! peeing on frogs? <laughs> no. no, they would. I think they would send their their urine off and then they would inject the urine to frogs in okay. a lab. <laughs> got it, got it. That sounds a little more civilized. That would be crazy. <laughs> they were just like our grandparents had frogs in their homes as <laughs> pregnancy tests. <Yes. laughs> just pee on them. No. Um, that would be really sad. Guys, I'm going to give you a nice, a nice classic Georgie close-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. He's uh, very calm. A lot more calm than oh. I thought he would be. Yeah. Just get this back leg there. Oh, Ooh, he's, he's, oh, he's, he's a squirmer. He's a squirmer. He's going. Okay. <laughs> Yay, George. That's so what nice. What a big man. He's so beautiful. Wide load. <laughs> All right, I would take him. Chat, do you have any questions about Georgie? George, George. Can he even jump? Is he oh yeah, he did a backflip once. I'm so serious. He can do a backflip. I know that sounds so stupid, but I'm so I'm so serious. He actually did a backflip. Oh my god! It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. What does he think about? I don't know. Food, uh, resting, so, burying uh, himself. Do I dispose of these gloves? Do I keep? Them yeah, on? you can take them off. Now. Okay, we're taking them off. Yeah, because we're gonna move on to the next friend. Okay. Well, that was nice to meet you, Georgie. Rate Georgie one out of ten. What'd you think? Uh, Georgie was a, 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 a ten out of ten. Ah, oh, ten out of ten. What does he smell like? He doesn't smell like anything. I don't. I didn't smell anything. He didn't smell like anything. He's fine. Can we see the backflip? I. It's not. He doesn't do it on command. He just did it one time. Yeah, I mean it that was would, really special. Occasion. That would be daily <laughs> dose worthy. Because like, I'd be like, hey everyone, Dang so it, I found a very thick frog that can do a backflip. <laughs> okay, we gotta work on that. Um, no, he, like, he was in his enclosure, we went to give him a mouse, and he, like, Flip saw it. Flip's the only other person that saw it, because he was filming. Um, he did a full-on backflip. It was wild. There's a clip. Yeah, we, it's, you can't really see it in the clip. Okay, next one. Next. I need to go get it. Guess what it is. Daily Dose. This is... Okay, I'm guessing. You're guessing. Uh, uh, raccoon? Nope. Um, I'm a, I'm a little scared, because I have no idea what's coming. <laughs> and I don't usually touch animals. So that's a little scary, but uh, I don't think you can fit a cow in there, so it can't be a cow out of that little room that you're in. You're just going to leave me here all alone. I'm getting it. A man who's not a professional streamer. Okay, this is actually and kind of an interesting teaching moment. Oh gosh, it's going to be a spider, isn't it? Do you not like spiders? I'm terrified, but I'll do it. for the. It's not oh, a it's a snake. Okay. That's a that's it's the... patchy okay. surprise. <clears throat> wow, here he is. 
Patchy. I don't know if I've ever held a snake in my life. Oh, it's time, Daily Dose. So this will be interesting. Patchy's a ball python. So he has one eye, it looks like? Yeah, that's why he's named Patchy. So we got him because uh, there's a ball python breeder. Okay, am I holding him properly? Yeah. Now? Okay. Um, and he was born with only one eye because she breeds for color. And then she couldn't sell him to a pet store because oh. he was born with only one eye. He's so soft. Isn't he kind of nice? He's so soft. He's like soft. really smooth. And it's weird because so like he's he's like almost like you can feel his muscles he's in like his skin. He's like all muscle. Yeah, they're really so strong. So he's pure muscle. Because he's a constrictor. So ball pythons are constrictors. He's not venomous um, because if he was eating prey, he would be constricting it. Today's actually his day to eat. Oh, okay. um, but we're not going to feed him on because he takes a really long time. Oh, yeah, okay. That you sound sense. like the guy from Daily Dose of Internet. <laughs> I, I just might be the guy from Daily Dose of Internet. Because <laughs> like, I can I can like turn my voice on and off. So I have my, my regular voice and then I have my regular voice. So, um, but yeah, so this guy is like, he's a cutie. Um, but they're cold blooded like me because I'm always cold. Me too. But... So me touching him doesn't make him cold. I knew it was him. Is it not like so? Uh, is it not well advertised that the, yes, this is Daily Dose of Internet? <laughs> it, guys... should, it should say in the title, you know, Daily <laughs> Dose of Internet, right? This is Daily Dose of Internet. Um, yeah, he is. Uh, he he's exothermic, so he relies on outside heat sources to keep him warm. He likes being warm, but he's a little bit cold right now. Yeah. He was he was sitting under his food dish. So he's very pretty. Isn't he super cool? You can see see how it kind of looks like milky, like his eye is a little cloudy. Yeah, why are his eyes so cloudy? Um, he's gonna shed soon. Oh, so um, that's how you know. Yeah, it's... so he'll shed out his shed out his skin. Um, guys, we have a little game. Oh, he's so to weird. play with Patch. You're really not shaky. You seem really comfortable. I, I'm I'm very comfy because he's I've never because he's so nice. I've never seen an animal like that. He's so snakes are apparently very soft. They're soft. They're not scary. There's over 3,000 species of snake. Only 20% are venomous. Okay. Um, and you're nine times more likely to die via lightning strike in the U.S. than you are venomous snake bite. I just had no idea they were so soft. Like, oh, he's so he's squishy. Nice. And so so he, he, he changes from squishy to, like, muscly. Yeah. yeah. Um, guys, we have a little, a, little, a little game to play so you can learn a little bit about Patchy. It's called Two Truths and a Lion. Get it? Because it's an animal show. Okay. So um, here we are with Two Truths and a Lion. I'm going to tell you two truths, and then there's going to be a, a lion, and you have to guess which one is the lion are you ready here we go number one ball pythons are considered near threatened uh because they're frequently hunted for their skin and for the exotic pet trade is that true am i supposed to answer There's that a lion. you can guess if you want uh, is that true or not true i'm gonna say not true he thinks it's not true question er, the second one in some african cultures pythons are <laughs> revered and hunting them is considered taboo true or a lion what do you think chat he's exploring look at him grip isn't that crazy the way he's able to grip like that yeah i'm trying to help him out he's amazing all right and the last the last one the last one we have is a lion <laughs> which one was the lion chat It was that one. The other two were true. Do you get it, Daily Dose? Uh, no, I, I, I honestly. Well, here I just think I have I have ADHD, so I have a, I have a difficult so time. Fine. I have a difficult time <laughs> paying attention right now. It wasn't for you. It was for them. It's, it got it sad. That's what I figured. This is such. This is the coolest no thing like, I've ever done. Really? Oh my. Oh my gosh. god. That's so nice. This is so cool. Oh, can I kiss him? Sure. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> so nice um guys patchy's really wonderful the reason that we have patchy so he's called a ball python you know why because he can curl up into a ball yeah he knows he knows everything he's a genius i just kind of um, made sense when know. they're when they're scared their defense mechanism is to ball up which is not a very good defense mechanism especially for poachers because if people go out to poach these snakes and they walk up on them and they get scared they just curl up into a ball and so people will just pick them up um ball pythons are exported out of africa more than any other species what? any other species Why? um because of the exotic pet trade oh people get them in the states they breed them for color there's a ton of snakes circulating a lot of them die in transit as well they get them here in crazy ways and how did you get this guy so he was bred in Texas for the pet trade. Oh. Um, so he was bred for color, but then he had this genetic issue where he was born with one eye. And so they couldn't sell him as a pet. 
and that's why he's here. He was deemed undesirable. Yeah, because he's one-eyed. Thank <clears> you for all the gifted subs. I appreciate that. This is the coolest animal I've ever touched. Oh my god. Like, Rate him. What out of ten? This is okay. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry, Georgie, but <laughs> I have never been so fascinated by an animal before. Georgie's getting bumped down. <laughs> okay, Georgie, you're like. You, you're like you're amazing but like wow <laughs> wow patchy i'm sorry um so ball pythons we got a ball python before that did not make it um it was confiscated at lax uh because people tried to ship a bunch of baby ball pythons in pvc pipe mm -hmm. through cargo and planes like they took them from africa and tried to bring them to the states illegally by like stuffing them in pipes and then a bunch of them died so it was a confiscation of hundreds of baby ball pythons we got one of them it did not make it um, probably because it got a really bad start. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Yeah. Um, this is so cool. Okay, so they're pretty cool. Um, so are they nocturnal? Um, no, but he'll sleep. He like chills most of the day. Wait, he's got like holes in his mouth. What is that? Those are heat uh, receptors. Oh, is that so what he that can is? sense heat, and then he smells with his tongue. Yeah. Um, yeah. so he'll collect particles on his tongue, and then he has a Jacobson's organ on the roof of his mouth. And he'll put his tongue in that organ, and then it sends those signals to his brain. I've not, I didn't know. So do all snakes have those kind of holes in their mouth? Mm -hmm. I wish, can, can they, does this camera see this? You can go close to this one. Okay. And then show them. I didn't know snakes have, I mean, I think almost that. That could be daily dose worthy. Having little, snakes have little holes in their mouth, if they can see. Yeah. Yeah, see what, right under the eye there? So strange. That's how he sends his heat to everybody. And why does he want to send his heat out? Um, So that he can tell where his food is. Okay. So you can find food. Yeah, interesting. He also, guess how often he eats? Probably like once a month, maybe? Once every other week for him. Every week? He's little. Oh, look, every other week. So the big ones can take longer. Yeah. All right, Patchy. You guys are friends. You can hang out after the stream with him. Bye. If you want. He's so smooth. He is really smooth. He's so soft. Patchy looks like he's going to shed. He is going to shed. He's a little blue right now. It's so weird having a normal person here and not a streamer. True. So if he... <laughs> Wait, what's the difference? You're just way nicer. <laughs> Am I supposed to be mean? No, no, it's just great. Okay. So, so, nice. so question. So, if this, so when the snake sheds, will he be even softer? Yeah. You want to see a shed? Okay. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, once he loses the skin, he would be even softer, which is crazy because yeah, he's he'll already be like super smooth. He's already insanely smooth. Look at this. This was his last shed. <clears throat> okay, but obviously the shed will be. Is it? Will this, yeah, I is know. this soft? No. Okay, no, it's not. I'm just showing you. But yeah, after he sheds, he will be s even smoother than he is right now. Duh. That's how long Patchy is. If you if you like lay him out, he doesn't look that long. But his this shed is going to be even longer because he's grown. So um, I have seen s some uh, animal videos where uh, like where, with reptiles where they can't shed properly. Does yeah. does uh, your snake have an issue with that? No. Okay. He um, this is we have another snake. Oh. Is, is this, I'm going to see this one too? No. Okay. okay. <laughs> Just patchy. This is noodle shed. Um, but yeah, it, it, uh, they need a lot of humidity to shed. Okay. Um, and so if they don't have high enough humidity, sometimes they shed in pieces. Yeah. But yeah, this is a patchy shed and this is a noodle shed. They shed their skin. If you guys don't know, to, it's part of how they grow. Um, cool. So, this yeah. is so awesome. Yeah. Like literally one of the most fun days of my life. Oh my I'm God. having so much fun. <laughs> look at, look at his eyes too. This is his mouth. Isn't this crazy that like he sheds the whole thing so he's got two little eye holes yeah yeah maybe one interesting oh, oh yeah there's only there's only one eye hole <laughs> so, oh, oh no that's so sad here i'll show you guys look at this so if it was a regular snake there'd be two eye holes but there's only one eye hole where's the eye hole this is his uh this is his mouth if you can see that that's there it is see, see that little hole see and this is his eye hole yeah, so Sorry, only Flynn. one eye hole because, you know, very sad. Because he's only got one eye. That's Wait, I'm sorry. patchy. I'm sorry, I missed it. So why does he only have one eye? Um, He was born with one eye. Just born with one eye. Yeah, it. it's uh, sometimes you get crazy stuff when you try to breed for color. Look, Georgie went in the water. Hi, Georgie. Oh, oh my God, the next one's really fun. This is a... um. This is a special debut. Yeah. Uh, Hold on. No one's seen this animal before? They've seen her, but she has not been on the show. Okay. And she hasn't been in the studio for a really long time. And I think you'll like her a lot. She's wonderful. Someone said, damn, he really has ADHD. Yeah, I do. That's why I'm good at what I do. Um, 
cutie. So, um, producers, I'm sorry, Oliver was not feeling it this morning. This is Nugget, but you can put up Oliver if you want. They're both chickens. <laughs> um, so okay, thank you. I'm afraid to touch. Yeah, you could. Here, let me give you something to. S she could snack on something to kind of distract her because right now she kind of looks like she just wants to leave. Nugget. These, are you okay with holding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want a treat? Ooh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Nugget is a chicken. Should, should we get a better angle for the camera? Yeah, you want to turn it around? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I have to hide it first. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, so this is one of our hens. Um, Nugget, we got in April of 2021. You guys are friends. She loves you. <laughs> She's giving her oh, treats. Gosh. You, She's you eating mealworms right now. So it does. It's not. It doesn't hurt, but like it's. But it kind of it, like, pinches. It. Yeah. <laughs> so so she. Yeah. Okay. She. Nugget. Well, I want to. Okay. Do you want to? I want. I want to pet. Table. That's so nice. Oh, so soft. Very soft. So are all animals soft? And I just had no idea. <laughs> we'll find out today. You'll probably feel some that are not soft. No, you knew who wasn't soft was Jordy. Well, you were wearing gloves. What if he's soft? I got nothing. Oh, that's true. Here, look. They're down here. They're... Bits. Yay. How good okay. is their, How good is their eyesight? Uh, not that great. Not that great. She she can see fine, just not very far away. I don't think I've ever touched a chicken Wait, before, ma'am. No, not in the. She knows where the source is. Um, so you guys are probably like, why do we have a chicken at an animal? Well, not an animal sanctuary, but it's mostly exotic animals here, right? Nugget is really cool and really important for te teaching people about the agricultural industry. Daily dose is vegan. Um, this is a this is cool to talk about. Yes. The chicken's closest wild relative is a red jungle fowl, which is like basically a chicken that lives in the forest, right? They naturally have two laying seasons a year. So they'll lay like 10 to 15 eggs a year, right? That's that's normal. That's natural for a bird. Our domestic chickens will lay 200 to 300 eggs a year. Okay. that's Just through artificial selection because we make them laying machines because our the, the demand for eggs is so high. Yeah, very sad. Yeah. Oh, oh. was that a peep? <laughs> <laughs> I, I noticed that it. she doesn't this is the no-no zone so this is the no-no <laughs> zone she does not like that and that's where i've only been patting her because that's not where her head is yeah that's <laughs> so why is this the no-no zone why i is... don't know every time i touch it it's like know. okay um, she's okay with it she's too she's distracted fine. yeah she loves so she's, she's distracted smacking. okay <laughs> that is insane isn't it crazy no, wild chick, wild. Wait, chickens. so I missed that. I missed that unfortunate fact. What was that fact? So again? red jungle fowl, they'll lay ten to fifteen eggs a year. Okay, that's just that's normal. Two laying seasons, normal, natural. Our commercial, um, <laughs> sorry, our commercial chickens will lay two hundred to three hundred eggs a year. Is that from cross uh, crossbreeding? And... Yeah, artificial selection. Their their layers. It's it's that's what they're bred to do. Okay. Um, so that's crazy. A lot of you, some of you were typing that certified humane emote. I won't go through the whole deal, but I do like to talk about food labels on my stream quite a bit. And, um, one of the recommendations Can that I we make, her? probably yeah. not. She would probably squawk at you. <laughs> I want to hear her squawk. No, <laughs> she'd be upset, uh, is to look for this label in grocery stores. Um, that is about the best that you can do. Free range doesn't mean much. Cage free doesn't mean anything. Um, you have to look for one of those like independent certifiers and certified humane is one of them. Yep. So yeah, if you're looking for egg products, uh, pasture raised certified humane is what you should look for. Was that an advertiser? No. Oh. Not at all. It's just what you oh. should buy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've just done a lot of food label research. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so she gets scared very easily. Yeah, when she's not distracted by snacks. So what is this little white dangly thing on her neck? I don't actually know besides that she's being like a part of her comb. I yeah. don't know that it has a function. Chat, does anybody know? Well, I know that chickens can purr, so if you become close enough friends with them, they can purr. It's an AirPod. <laughs> it's an AirPod. <laughs> <laughs> they can purr. I have not heard her purr, but she does make a lot of crazy noises. Oh, she lays blue eggs. Blue eggs? Mm -hmm. Why? She's Americana. Uh-huh. Pretty cool. But it's just the way that she walks. She looks like a dinosaur. And... <laughs> what am I go to school for? I went to school for agriculture. I have an agricultural degree. Dirt degree. Oh, where'd you go to? Where'd you go to college? Cal Poly. Cal Poly. In California. Okay. She found the source. <laughs> treat bag. <laughs> Would you like to feed her with the treat yeah, bag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll feed. Oh. You have to kind of hold it open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she loves it here. Nugget, everybody. This is her debut in the studio. She what, is what a great living. Act. Cal Poly slow. 
Yeah. She's living. She loves it. Such a great uh, actress. Do you like Patchy more than Nugget? Patchy's your favorite one, huh? Patchy, I think, is my favorite so far, yes. Chat, do you have questions about Nugget? She's an Americana. She's like, ooh, I don't know how old she is. You don't know? Because you mm -hmm. just picked her up somewhere? Where'd you get her? No, we got her from when we got, sorry, when we got all of our parrots, uh, the owner thought that she was pair bonded to one of them. Pair bonded? What does that mean? Like that they were bonded as mates. Oh. But I don't think that they were, but we brought her back. Okay. Anyway. She's just going to town. What a what a How great. How far does she fly? She does not fly very far. Chickens don't fly very far. They're really heavy for a bird. Are they really heavy? Yeah, you can try to pick up the crate when I put her in there if you want. Yeah, I, I want to pick her up so badly. Do blue eggs taste different? Nope, they taste the same. Okay, Nugget, you want to throw a handful of okay, okay, yeah. worms in there and see if she crates herself? Do you want to crate yourself? Okay, you yeah. want to do it? Yeah, this, the things are annoying. Nugget, he go. Ma'am, look at this. Gosh, what a star. Can you believe that? Good job. Hey, you want to try to pick up the crate? Okay. Okay, like, that's like at least 10 pounds. That's like 10 pounds maybe-ish. Pretty crazy. 10, 15-ish. Wow. I'm... They're all saying you're a giga chad now because uh, you're lifting the chicken. Yeah, I should do chicken workouts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Nugget. Good to see you, Nugget. Okay. Well, guys, all right, I have another. I have more animals to show you. What do you yeah, think they are? Yeah, sure. This is my favorite part. Of the program. Why is that? Oh, I'm not going to show you those animals right now because we're actually going to go into a little break before. Oh. And then I'm going to show you those animals. Guys, don't spoil it. We'll be right back. What do you guys think? Hello. That looked like so much fun. Did you guys have fun clicking on the, the screen? The bananas. Guys, if you don't know what we're talking about, it's because you're not subbed. If you want to sub, that would be really cool. You could Twitch Prime and then you could see what was going on. Yeah. It was Chat, pitch it. Pitch it right now, the bananas. I thought it was a lot of fun. Thank you. I agree. Um, we're going to bring back some more ambassadors. We were talking about them a little bit uh, over the break. Um, but first, we have a little creator versus creature segment um, with Daily Dose. Uh, and this time, we had an Alveus art auction. Remember how I told you the animals yes. painted? Yes. And then we auctioned them off. So we just had the art auction. Um, and we one of the biggest ticket items was an abstract painting um actually it was a self-portrait from marmoset that alpa the marmoset how did you know it was a self-portrait because he it was it looked like the realistic monkey? okay so i'm going to show you a picture of appa okay okay and then you're gonna have 30 seconds to draw it on the whiteboard uh -huh. okay? okay and then chat is gonna say whose is better sure okay so i have to draw Hold on, you're gonna draw the monkey. Here's the monkey. Chat, this is here. I'll show you first what the monkey looks like. Oh, never mind. They have a picture of the monkey, so they'll show you. Daily Dose, this is Appa. Yes. Okay, he did a self portrait. So do I just look at it and then I draw, or can I draw while I'm looking? You can draw while you're looking if you'd like. Okay. I'll hold it for you. Okay. Creative versus creature segment. Who's better at art, Appa or Daily Dose of Internet? When do I start? Ready? Uh, Set. <laughs> Let me just. <clears throat> Ready, set. You're, go. You started way ahead of time. <laughs> that was, okay, I get like an extra second. Okay. All right, he's going. Wait, he knows how to draw. I don't know. I'm just kind of free balling it here. Okay. Oh, that that's not good. You don't have time for mistakes, <laughs> Danny. Dose. Okay, we got little little. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a squash. <laughs> Okay, and we okay. got a little, little nose here. Okay. And then... Oh, I see it! Okay, it's looking better. And a little bit of eyebrow action. Yeah. And... Um... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I, okay, we got the little arm thing here. Yeah. Okay. Chad, do you think it's been 30 seconds? I actually don't know. I think it has been. Let him cook. I think that's good. I think the time's up. I think that's good. We got... Zoom in on that work of art. Oh, that was a minute and six seconds. 
Here is Daily Dose's self-portrait of Appa and what he looks like. Here's I... Appa's self-portrait. Okay, but that's not the picture I was given, though. That is the picture of the monkey. That is his self. That no, is... that's his self-portrait. He did that. Okay. This is his self-portrait. Is so his self-portrait still for sale? No. Okay. It was sold. Oh, it was already sold? Okay. Guys, who do you think is better? Who do you think is more realistic? They're all saying Appa. Ludwig bought that. Ludwig bought that? Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think I did pretty well. You lost. Okay, well. Accurate, amazing depiction of Appa the Marmoset. I, that was fun. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it up yeah, there. Yeah, leave it up there. Okay, you want to guess what the next animal is? Um, this is my favorite part of the program. Oh, I'm how really big excited. is the animal? Chat. Are, are you it's small. Okay, it's chat. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with a bug of some type. Okay, you're on to something. And this bug can fly. No. <laughs> this bug cannot fly. <laughs> And it is some type of, uh, well, beetles can fly. What kind of bugs can't fly? Um, a lot of bugs can fly, apparently. I'll give you a hint. There's more than one. There's more than one. Yeah, they're bugs. Uh, there's going to be more than one bug. So um, <laughs> is, is, is this a one-of-a-kind <laughs> bug? New bug reveal? Dun, dun. Dun dun. Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, these are little roly polies. Yeah, they're isopods. Here, I'll give you one. Oh, is that their official name, isopod? Isopod. This is Marty. Yeah, I used to play with these guys when I was little. <laughs> Marty. You'd find them under rocks and stuff. Um. He's on his side. Marty. Oh. Are they roll around. <laughs> He's rolling around. <laughs> Guys, this is Marty. Marty's a zebra Wait, isopod. How can you tell? No, no, you're just making. There's like fifty of them in there. This is Marty. How do you know that's Marty? This is Marty. Okay, there this we go. This is Marty. There we go. There's there's a lot of Marty. This one down here is Marty. See, I, I call her out. <laughs> it's a party of Martys. Okay. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> so I think look, they're... look at them. Here he is, the little guy. I have, oh shoot, I have So you two. have a little one, I have Here, a big yeah, one. show them, I have two on me. I, I have a big one. one. She's got a little one. Marty party. Marty party. Because I was just like, how did you know this one's Marty? <laughs> <laughs> so Marty's a zebra isopod. Isopods are roly polies, like you said. This is like the Mediterranean version of a roly poly. Um, and they're very important because they break down organic material. Yeah, I was going to say, the roly-polies that you gave me here, I've never seen this type of roly-poly before, because usually ones by us are very gray. Yeah. Um, no, these are these are not the ones that we have around here. He's upside down. Um, they're very important because they break down organic material, and they make it into dirt that um, plants can use to grow. Uh-huh. So we need them for that reason. Pretty cool. Little crustaceans, yeah. They are crustaceans. They're invertebrates. You want to know this is my favorite part of the program? What? Because invertebrates make up 94% of our animal species. 94%. There's 900, there's almost a million described species of invertebrates. That's amazing. And vertebrates, birds, reptiles, mammals, all of them combined, like all of the things that you think of when you think animals, yeah. there's like 43,000 species. Of just with a backbone? Yes. Okay. But invertebrates, almost a million species. Well, I've, I've, I've been saying this, like bugs could take over the world if they wanted to. They, already own the world okay no but like they could take over yeah, the world right. exterminate humans and just retake their land that is so true if we went extinct bugs would thrive and if bugs went extinct we would all we would die so fast we need them so much um we they're, need they're this so important. little guy we need marty this marty in particular without him the world just explodes yeah so you you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> You said you're welcome. As the world explodes as I do that. Is it 53,000? Shoot. I only say that fact like once a week for the past two years. I don't Literally, the, the fate of the world is in my hands. <laughs> I feel that so evil. It's true. It's 53,000. Okay, sorry. Still a crazy number. Still a crazy number. Okay, 94% of our animal species are invertebrates. So they're very, very important. Um, and we need them to, to recycle our soils and to grow things. We need pollinators. Uh, we need carnivorous bugs that, that help control other bug populations. 
you know? Yeah. They're all very important. He's he's so important. I can just tell. He's you can off. just feel it, right? He's I can like feel radiating it. He's just on your hand. Off, off. I, what, he's radiating on my hand. Just I hope not. Radiating power. Okay. <laughs> to your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Mick asked you to rate Marty. Uh, Marty's great. He does his job of being a bug. So ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. See, when I bring these out, a lot of people like guests get freaked out when there are multiple. Does that freak you out? No, no. They're just little guys. You said though. Daily dose is the best thing that's happened to these animals. Why? Because people, when I bring out the snakes, people are like, oh, I don't like, like, whatever. And then it's bad for snakes because people are like, oh, my oh. streamer doesn't like him. Oh. But you like them. I mean, I think I, yeah, as long as it doesn't hurt me, I don't care. Nice. Nice. But, yeah. Okay, Marty, come here. Whoop. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, do you guys have questions about Marty? We have three species of isopods here. Um, we have the zebra isopods, we have rubber ducky isopods, and we have rubber Spanish Spanish orange isopods. Rubber ducky isopods. Yeah, they're very elusive. Cool. <laughs> I cannot get them out, but they're cool. Which Marty is your favorite? Uh, definitely with the one I was holding because that's the only one I this one was able to hold. Yeah, I think it was that one. <laughs> <laughs> Can Def it bite? Uh, they do have mouth parts, um, but I don't think that they could bite down on your skin. It's funny because when they flip over, it's just legs. That's all you see. You know what's cool about them when you flip them over? I'm sorry. You, you go for it. <laughs> I can make another one. If this is an isopod, right? This is Marty upside down. Guys, he's upside down. Okay. Do you know how they breathe? You know how we got lungs? Yeah. <sighs> they have pleopodal lungs like this. They have lungs on the outside of their body, oh. and they, they have to keep them moist. They soak in air that way. They're called pleopodal lungs. That seems like a design flaw, right? No, to it's cool. have your lungs outside of your body. It's cool. Okay, I, I think it's cool, but it just seems like a big mistake. I don't actually know. Maybe they just don't have room inside their bodies. I can't. He doesn't want me to flip him over well, and I don't, show you his lungs. Yeah, but... they don't want to be flipped over because yeah, the things it's really responsible cool. for being, you know, breathing, the things that keep them alive. They don't want to it's them... really cool, you guys. It's really cool. So, yes, they're saying six-pack abs. So, six yeah. Abs. So, <laughs> air abs. <laughs> you want to guess the next one? Is it another bug? Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, Not a spider. Let's see. What, what kind of uh, bugs exist? Um, it's not a spider. Uh, maybe like a. Is it a bee? I love bees. It's not a bee. Um, it's bigger than this one. It's bigger than the isopod that we just had. Yeah. Okay. Um, some type of beetle, maybe. No, but that would be cool. I love beetles. Okay. Her name's Barbara. Okay, Barbara. Um, here we go. The reveal. Drum roll, chat. Oh, gosh. Ah, Barbara! <laughs> Here she is! Look at her! Is it a cockroach? Yeah. Okay. It's a cockroach! I've never held a cockroach before. She's a, Ma she's a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Look here she goes. So does he... She? She? She. She hiss? Does she hiss at me? She can, yeah. They expel air through their sides really fast and it goes... Can we get a, a can camera heard close from up? 10 feet away. Yeah! Give him the camera close up. This is Barbara. She uh, she just woke up. She right. did just wake up. Oh, there's She's a, a little wait, sleepy. There are bugs on she top. She has. They're uh, mutually beneficial. The symbiotic mites. Okay, I was gonna say like there's they bugs help on clean the bug. Her. She's very nice. This is Barbara Madagascar hissing cockroach? It's one of the largest cockroach species in the world. Um, she's just exploring his hand right now. She's called Barbara because she has uh, those barbs on her legs that make her really, really good at climbing. Um, she can climb everything. She can climb glass. Um, pretty cool. And where did you get Barbara? We got them from an educational colony at a school in Pennsylvania. We started with seven. Now we have hundreds. You have hundreds of Barbaras? Yes. You oh want my. more? Uh, sure. Let's I'll get you more. Fill me up with Barbara's. <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> what a... I feel like, you know, Barbara's a good name, I guess. Barbara. So these guys are also really important because they are detritivores as well. Uh, so they break down organic material in soils. You have a lot of Barbara's. Okay. Barbara! So how do you want me to hold this? You can just hold it. Man, you're like hold not it. messing around. 
Guys, <laughs> look at Daily Dose. A bunch of Barbaras. They're from Pennsylvania. Well, okay, they. This colony is from Pennsylvania. They're only native to Madagascar. It's not a roach in Pennsylvania. They're not this big in Pennsylvania. Well, there might be some big ones in Pennsylvania. Yeah, they're they're cute. They kind of just chill and do, do their thing. Do you like them? I th yeah, I think they, they seem like a really easy animal to take care of if, if I had, a, had them as a pet. They are pretty easy um, because they eat everything. Guys, important thing to know about Barbara. How long do they live? Two to three years. Um, so... People think roach. People think of roaches, and they think of really dirty places, right? Or they think like, "Yuck! Kill it with fire! Step on it! I hate it!" Right? Um, but roaches are detritivores. They break down decaying things in organic matter, so they are actually cleaning up gross things. That's why they're there. Um, they're not causing the gross things. They're cleaning them up. Okay, but the mites are cleaning up gross things too. On the roaches. The mites are so, cleaning the roaches. So it's a never-ending chain of Gross bugs things. cleaning bu bugs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, he, 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 it's hard to interact with him because I don't want to squish him. They help the soil. They do help the soil. I'm going to put these back so I have less to manage. Or her. And then... Her. Sorry. Yeah, that one is hers? female. That we, we try to separate the males and females. It's hard to do. Okay, because you don't want the uh, population exploding? Yeah, we already have a lot. <laughs> A lot of Barbara. <laughs> a lot of Barbara. You know how we looked at the. You know how we looked at the um, snake skin before. Yeah. They shed two. And can I see one? Yeah. Oh, so. Squishy. So will Barbara think that this is another Barbara and an attack? I don't. Fight. No, she won't. <laughs> she won't fight. Like Do a punching go... bag. Here, I'll take her. You want to go show them the okay. the molt? So um. These roaches molt like snakes shed skin, um, and that's how they get bigger. Look at this molt. You can see where that roach crawled out of it. Isn't that neat? I want to crunch this so badly. It is very crunchy. It's, it, yeah. Isn't that cool? Um, so when they molt, they uh, come out bright white, uh, and then over a couple days, they become darker again. I mean, it's just their whole body. They, even the antenna sheds. It's very, It's very crunchy. Here, let me show them a... I'm not going to ruin this because I really like this mold, but. Oh, ASMR. You hear it? Also, these are um, my scorpion's first molts. Is this a scorpion you're giving me? Okay, no. Oh, Look, he crawled whoa. out of there. Isn't that crazy? Do you have a scorpion this small? He's bigger now because he molted. Oh, man. <laughs> I want a scorpion this tiny. Isn't that cute? I want a tiny scorpion like that. Should I show them? Chat, look at this. Is, uh, this was puppy's first molt. Pretty cool. Look, you can see where he crawled out of that opening. Um, I want a microscopic scorpion so badly. Pretty cool. Scorpions are sick. So so with the stinger that small, though, mm -hmm. could they really hurt you? Yeah. I really? think it'd be like a bee sting. Okay, a bee sting. Not, not like you're not going to die, but it okay. would hurt. Can you die from scorpion uh, stings? Yeah, yeah, if you're allergic to them. Okay. Um. I don't think I, I don't really know. <laughs> All right, we're putting Barbara back. It was nice to meet Barbara and the the ghost of whatever that scorpion was. <laughs> His name is Puppy. Puppy. Yeah, the scorpion's name okay. is Puppy. Chad, do you guys have questions about Barbara? Um... God, scorpion! I died from one. No, you didn't. You're lying. Do they have cool birth facts? They are. They give ovovivaporous birth. The roaches. What does that so mean? So they keep eggs inside of them until the eggs are ready to hatch to protect the eggs. And then when they're ready to hatch, they it looks like live birth, but it's not. So they crawl out of Whoa, them. What if humans did that? That would be. That kind of is what we do. Wait, that is what we do. <laughs> <laughs> if we gave live, imagine we gave live birth. Wait, and didn't where do babies come from? <laughs> are they the only roaches that hiss? I think there are Am other. Am I just roaches learning for the first hiss. time? Um. How long they live two to three years, the roaches do. Um, so yeah, are they the fastest bug? Mm, I don't think so. No, but they are really fast. There are roaches that are really fast. I saw a crab, I saw a video of this crab. It's the fastest, like vertebrae or, or non, -ver non -vertebrae, invertebrate. invertebrate in the world. It can travel a hundred body lengths in a second. That's so funny. Bugs, so boom. I love, I love comparing bug speeds and like bug things to human equivalents they're so stupid yes, yes like fleas how high they can jump like 
it's it's just so funny they're so funny how fast they procreate roaches are very prolific they do very well guys we're gonna go to an outside segment um but before i have something to tell you guys about if you want to go stand over there i'm, I'm gonna, gonna do a quick there. i'm gonna do a quick segment and then we're gonna be ready to go outside and okay. i don't think it's raining i think we're good look at that guys okay um when we come back we will head outside to Take meet um some more of our ambassadors i do have this phone um hello what you need my phone? Um, no, it's fine. Okay. I think. Chat! Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. 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 Here you go. Are we live? Yeah, we're live. Oh, we're back. We're back. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Parrot Aviary. Daily Dose, welcome to the Parrot Aviary. Hi, everyone. Um, okay. Tragic. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> She tried to bite Daily Dose's Wait, ear. She was whispering, and I go, oh, what's going on? And then, like that. Like that. Oh, what was it? She wants to bite you. This is, si this is Siren. Siren is a, okay, well, yeah, she, maybe. Is a, Siren's a blue crunch at Amazon. And then this is Mia over here. Um, Mia is an African gray. You can give Mia this, if you would like. Okay. It's pistachio. So we got Mia and who? Siren. Siren. Yeah. So Siren's not fond of me. Siren does not like men, um, but she does like screaming. Ooh, yummy. Mia is an African gray. We have the parrots uh, to talk about the pet trade as well. So same thing with the snakes. Mm -hmm. um, lots of parrots are exported from the wild for the pet trade. Um, but these ones were pets originally. They're all rescue parrots. So. Am I allowed to touch? She might let you touch it. Well, she's Maybe... Just... Mm. Where, where do I pet? Thank Just like you. on her neck right here. Okay. That's nice! Aww. Ah, so nice! What a good bird. <laughs> she is... She feels kind of like velvety. Yeah, they're more soft animals. Well, like... Oh, oh. Is, that a good, is that a good head turn? Yeah, she's fine with you right now. Wow, what a nice bird. Ooh. Ooh. What was that? <laughs> Just talking to you. Oh, God. <laughs> Here she comes. Oh Siren. gosh. She sings happy birthday, you wanna hear it? So. Siren. So is Siren getting jealous that I? Yeah, she's on okay. the streets. Siren. Can so. you, where are you going? There's drama. Can you sing happy birthday? Happy birthday. Birthday. Wow, <laughs> pretty good, right? Pretty good. Sounds like birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> is that funny? Hello. Hello. Yeah, she's very, she? She's, she will bite your finger. Are they both she's she's? she's? They're both female. Yeah, all of our parrots are female. These are more female parrots. Oh, yeah. Big ones. This is Tico and Miley. Tico is the blue and gold macaw on the right. Miley is a Catalina macaw on the left. Yeah. Um, these ones, scary. No touchy. No touchy? Bite. Okay. Got it. Madge. Good to know. Look, they did this. Um, they shoot through wood, all of this they did, they did all of this as well. They're just kind of tearing the whole place apart. Yeah. Parrots are real destructive. They're really hard to have as pets too because they live so long. Yeah. And they're so smart and they can bite really hard. Is so that how, right? So how old are these two? We don't know because they're rescues. Uh -huh. um, I think they're both at least 10. Tico was dropped off in a box outside of an SBCA, like a human uh -huh. society. And then Miley was someone's pet that they didn't want anymore. Uh -huh. huh. Not to be mean, but... This bird kind of here kind of looks like a clown, you know? <laughs> <laughs> she, she does kind of look like a clown. It's got the white face and like, it got like that whole like colorful afro going on, you know? These two are pair bonded as well, but they're female. Okay. Hi. So they're best friends for life. Best friends for life. That's so exciting. Yeah. They love each other. Do you guys have any questions about the parrots? They're putting clown emojis in. I mean, yeah, it's just, just for some reason, this one looks like a clown, but that one doesn't. It's a lot of colors. She's yeah, a lot lots of colors. of colors. This one is naturally occurring in the wild. She's a hybrid of two different macaw species. Okay, cool. So she was bred in captivity. Um, did you hear, hear about how scientists taught parrots to call each other on Zoom and they loved it? Did no, they? I did not hear about that. Their wings are not clipped. No. Um, how long are the macaw's tail feathers? I don't know. It's I like, don't have one, but they're like... About two or three feet, maybe? Yeah, like this long. They're long. 
This is your Daily Dose of Parrots. Yeah, sure. Hello, everyone. This is your Daily Dose of Parrots. <laughs> here I am with Maya, and we are looking at some very dangerous animals. And it seems like every bird here wants to eat me, except that one behind you. <laughs> yeah, she was really nice to you. <laughs> she was really nice to you. Siren, do you want a pistachio? Come here. Uh -huh. Yeah, can I feed Hello. someone else? Um, you can feed Mia again. Okay, okay so. Here go. It's the only safe one. You can give her a pistachio. This. Yeah, this one. This one. Okay, there you go. Right. Mia, another pistachio! See, me and Mia have a lot in common. We love nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! Good girl! Can you So nice. And so this is her home. Um, yeah, they have this whole thing. So they have radiant heat panels in there. Okay. So if it gets too cold, they is can it be inside. In it's warmer, yeah. Okay. Um, and then if it's raining and they don't want to be outside. You okay? <laughs> Do they attack? Yeah, he's kind of crazy. I'm not really friends with him. That's nuts. How does their beak stay sharp? If they're gonna live for so long, shouldn't like over the time it should like dull down a little bit? Yeah, they're really hard. Their beaks are really, really yeah. hard. Um, so hmm. they they stay pretty sharp on their own. Hi. Ooh. Hi. We have to use sweetie. really expensive mm -hmm. parrot safe paint because they chew everything, and it's like over a hundred dollars a gallon for all the black that you see. It's parrot safe, so they uh, can oh. adjust it. Oh, got it. That People are saying. Uh, why can't they fly? Okay, so all different reasons. This one, um, si so funny, I know. Siren can't fly because she is missing tail feathers because of a pelvic injury. She probably won't grow them back. So she has no brakes in the sky. She has no steering. She can't fly. Mia can fly. She's flighted. She flies. She's good. These two um, are both physically perfectly capable of flight, but they never learned how to fly. Um, so we're hoping to teach them how to fly. Uh, in the train. Wait, why don't they know how to fly? They've been getting captivity their whole lives, oh. and they just like never. But it, were that's not like an instinct thing, where they just know how to fly. Mm -mm. Okay. No. They're also parrots are just way less flighty than like crows and stuff. They're yeah, just not as interested in it. Okay, so these are the parrots. Do you want to go see Stompy? Yeah, sure. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Girls, guys. girls. It's all ladies. girls, right? Yeah. All ladies. Um. We talked about Stompy a little bit, a little bit yesterday. Yeah, so I guess I need to hug Stompy. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna hug Stompy. It's gonna be sick. You're gonna love him. I think it'll be fun. Stompy. There she is. He. Is it, so this is he. Stompy's a male. Okay. I thought Stompy was female for the first like year and a half. And then you so, checked. Well, no. <laughs> Obviously. The adult emus have different vocalizations for male and female. So we started doing male vocalizations, but I still say she is awesome. Okay. Hi, chicken! I'm sorry. Hey, why is Connor running? I <laughs> open the gate <laughs> cool. It's just, a, it's just a little concerning when you see, you know, the animal experts running. <laughs> I like, do I need to run too? Sorry. Okay, this is a dinosaur. Yeah! Hey everyone, so here I am with a dinosaur. Oh my gosh. Is it cool? So when do I do the hug? Off you go. Okay, we're going for the hug. Alright. That was a really good hug. You know what, you're, cl you're closer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, this is, this is easy. It's just hugging a dinosaur. There, feel his wing on his, uh, on his chair. It's crazy. It's a very interesting texture. It's so it's not so soft, right? Not very soft. Feel, feel this wing right here. Broke the soft. Oh, screen. that's his wing. That's a wing. No, that's a wing. That it's an actual chicken wing. Yeah. Act <laughs> crazier. Look at this. It's like someone glued a chicken wing. You say it's a dinosaur. Look at this. Oh. A claw. You have a claw. Stompy, please. She's my nails. They're shiny, and she wants them. She likes shiny things. Okay. Stop. So why do you like shiny things? Talk to us. So the only theory, <laughs> Stompy, explain. <laughs> um, the only theory that I've heard that I think is like, oh, maybe, is that they're naturally inclined to look for novel water sources. And so when they see like glinting off of metal, they're like, ooh, water. I, these are just dinosaur legs. Pretty crazy. Like, you should see their I skeleton. I want to grab it. You can, I mean, you, can, I? you can like j lightly grab it. She'll move it probably. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>
You move so fast. <laughs> I'm just not gonna look at you. <laughs> Is it everything you dreamed of? <laughs> I could do the same thing. You know? Um, their skeleton compared to a dinosaur skeleton is crazy. It's so similar. It's so similar? Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah, you're so nice. Aww. Alright, ready? Let's go home. Are you coming with me? No? Okay. You want to go home with Daily Dose? I bet you give us, like, where does she like to be pet? Like, right here? Ooh, that's gotta feel great. Like, a lot of animals. I don't know why, but a lot of animals, they like it right, like, in the chest <laughs> yeah. area. Because they can't that's reach hard, there. Yeah. Same thing. So, like, oh, look at that. I could tell, like, your neck's getting longer. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, for some reason. You look like you've worked with emus your whole life. No, I just I'm. <laughs> he looks so comfortable. Are you? He's fine. Are you okay? You have a little ear hole. Okay. Yeah. That's a nice. I bet it's a good scratch. What Ooh. a weird shape he's making with his neck. Stompy. Is he's he... softer down there. I'm not breaking the soft streak. Well, thanks for being my friend. That was a really good emu. Has though. anyone kissed this emu before? Can I be the first one? Yeah, you can be the first one on the show to kiss the emu. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> you know who gave the worst stompy hug ever? Who? Ludwig. Oh, why? What's wrong, Ludwig? He's so awkward. He's so bad at it. He's just a friend. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't do that to a wild emu, but... Yeah, that's fair. But I must, I was under the assumption that this emu, emu has done that a few times, so... Yeah, I kiss stompy all the time. Okay, we have four other animals in this pasture. Yeah. And um, we have two donkeys, my horse, and a cow. Okay. A baby cow. Um, so the donkeys are here to, um, so I can teach people about animal use in traditional medicine. Mm -hmm. They boil donkey hide and make it into a gelatin that they use in traditional Chinese medicine. Yes. Um, Yijiao. So that's why the donkeys are here, so I can teach people about that. The cow is here, so I can teach people about the beef industry. Um, which is, as you know, a huge... Very market. sad. Um, so, Winnie, we got from a cattle operation in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. She's about a year old, so she's at the point where she would be processed. Um, and I'm doing a big presentation on Winnie on Saturday. If you want to learn about her and the beef industry, come back on Saturday. Wait, Winnie hasn't been introduced yet? No, she's right here. Oh, there she is. Winnie! <laughs> she's eating. Wow, you're a lot bigger than I saw on stream. Hi, bud. A baby cow. Horses are the one of the few animals that actually creep me out and scare me. You want to feed them? Because they're so big and so powerful, I just feel like she could just... She? He. He could just chomp me. That's true. <laughs> like... He was a carrot. I've gotten bit by a few horses and it's not fun. But I'll Put your hand flat when you feed him. Oh, this is going to be so scary. Like, I'm scared, dude. Yay! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I hate horses, dude. I don't know why. Sarah, you did so well with all the other animals that people are normally scared of. Good job. That was really good. Oh, gosh. Good boy. Um, it's just like... Can you distract the horse, please? Come here, big man. Come on. And also, like, I'm afraid I'm going to get kicked and did just you, die. You've been hit by, or bit by horses before? Yeah, because there's no, a... There's, I like... I like I like horses from a distance where there's like a, a fence between us. Go down there. He thinks we have more treat. He likes you. Uh. <laughs> I mean, because this guy could just end my life right now. <laughs> it's true. Hey. If, if they knew that. He likes the camp. Come on. As, long right. as, as long as you keep him distracted, I'm fine. All right, horse is leaving. Bird's back. See, is the bird and daily dose of friends. yeah. See, we are we are best buds. And <laughs> what's his name again? Stompy. Stompy loves these scritches. Look at how the neck elongates, and it's because Stompy's tall. We now. are best friends. Oh my gosh! I can't believe how big he. When I got him, he was like a watermelon. Ooh, what was that? Just a cough. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This nice stomp is okay. I guess I gotta get an emu now. Yeah. What do emus eat? Uh, she eats grain. She used to eat some produce. Now she's pretty picky. Yeah, I don't know how to describe the and texture. Bugs. It's just—it's not soft at all. It's kind of raggedy. Yeah. No offense, but a raggedy uh, chicken. yeah, it's a raggedy chicken exactly. Yeah, Stompy's wonderful. You want to meet Winnie? Yeah, let's meet Winnie. Meet I'm, Winnie. I'm definitely less less afraid of cows for some reason. Um, Winnie. Is a red Angus. We can come around this way. She's 
eating her breakfast right now. Winnie, baby cow. This Hi. is Daily Dose of Internet. Hi. Do you want to smell me? Do you like being smelled? She likes licking sometimes. Okay, licking? Okay. <laughs> What a what a good girl. Yes. Girl. What a good girl. Winnie's a nice big cow. Wide here, nice and thick. Wide load. Uh, not squishy at all, so we got to work on that. <laughs> Let's get some squish going on. <laughs> Are you eating enough? <laughs> she definitely is eating enough. We need some more squish there. Cows are so sweet. Yeah, Winnie's very sweet. So again, got her off of a cattle operation in Oklahoma. Um, so she is a beef cow, was bred to be a beef cow, um, and so would be shipped off at this point in her life for slaughter. Um, but now she lives here. Again, we'll be talking about that in depth on Saturday at 11 a.m. if you want to come back. Very to hard. <laughs> Why so hard? Um, there's a lot of gas in there. She's ruining it. There's oh. a lot of gas. Methane. Because I've... So if I squeeze? No. <laughs> <laughs> but they do have like, um, it's like a really large needle, like a crazy gas needle, seen that. and then they release gas. That okay, way, but yeah. that's not natural. No, um, but they do it for horses and cows that have colic. Like if they're super gassy and uncomfortable, uh, then you can release gas that way. Got it. So, but if that were to happen in the wild, that would just kill them, right? Probably. Yeah. Because they can't throw up. Would they literally just explode? Um, no, they would just die. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's that's <Boom>. Winnie. <laughs> um, and then these are the donkeys. The donkeys are a little scared of people um, because... And I'm a little scared of donkeys, so it works oh. just great. Yeah, so the donkeys are uh, rescued off of a feedlot as well. Um, like I said, donkey hide is boiled to make a gelatin for traditional medicine. Um, traditional Chinese medicine. And so it's wiped out like 30%. Oh gosh, it's coming back. <laughs> of donkey populations in Botswana. Um, and then donkeys in the States are exported for that reason as well. Here you go. Hi, buddy. Just don't move. He's a really good horse. He's a nice horse. Uh, I'll tell you what, you're, you are the best horse I've ever interacted with. That's for sure. As a nice guy. Hello. It's like if I just kind of like avoid the head, because that's where the biteys are. You know, that's those, where the biteys are. Yeah, that's where the teeth I've had him since I was 12. Really? Yeah. Wow. We go way back. Yeah, wow. He's my buddy. So then how old is he? 20... How old? I'm 24. Yeah, that doesn't work. And I work. got him when he was... Yeah, that doesn't work because I got him when he was eight. He's... He's 20. Okay. And then how long do horses usually live for? Like 50-ish? No, like 30. 30? Okay. Yeah. I, well, I would love for him to live to be 30, um, um, but he'll probably live so he's, to like... So he's an old man. Yeah, he's an old guy. Yeah, what a, he's a he's a good guy. A little scary at first, but I think I'm warming up a little bit. Twenty going on twenty one. He can drink alcohol. No, he can't. <laughs> I I hope not. No alcohol for him. Well, is there something for like horses? Cause you know, cats got catnip, and you know. Actually, people do say horses like beer, but I would never give him that. He loves pop tarts. They give race horses Guinness because it has micronutrients. I feel like that's not apparently. good. Oh, we have one more ambassador. Uh, this this chicken. Oh, he's full of sand. Oh. W why is this an ambassador? He just lives here. Is this um, Stompy's friend? No. Is this whose he's friend nobody, is it? Nobody likes him. Actually. No one likes him. So he just sits <laughs> in the bush. Yeah, yeah. yeah likes him. So you have to throw it because they have. Then they have on the can. They have to search and find it. Oh, okay. So you have to rehide it for them. So okay. It's a hide and seek. So I will do that. Chat. We're gonna go to a commercial break here, a little ad break, and he's gonna hide the chicken. Somewhere. We're not gonna here. see where he hides it. And you want to see where the chicken goes? Call out the sanctuary. If you want to get a spoiler, you could go watch the live cam on all this because you'll see him hide it on the live cam. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. Bye. We're live? We're actually live. Ah. Um, we're going to get out of this ah. vestibule because the backpack doesn't ah. like it. Ah. Ah. What do you mean? Ah. Woo! Ah. Whoa! Ah. We're live, everybody. Ah. Oh, ah. Is that it? Oh, they just jump on your hands. Okay. Yeah. Ah. You want to hold your arm out? Ah. 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 That's Abbott. Abbott's an American crow. Ah. Hi, Abbott. It kind of hurts when they walk on you. It's a little sharp. It's a little sharp. Um, the crows were wild originally. Um, were blown out of their nests as babies. <laughs> and then uh, raised by people. Look at and all so these they scratches. got. Look at this. 
is part of the gig. Like, look at my hand. Um, they were raised by people, and so they don't know how to take care of themselves because they're imprinted. Um, they're whiny babies. They're whiny little babies. Thank you, that's loud enough. No! So, they're very loud. Yeah. Very loud. No, it. And they whine a lot. <laughs> they're like me and Kitty. Yes, yes. Uh, so, are they smarter than ravens? Or? I think ravens technically would be like a little smarter, but it's really hard to quantify. Yeah. Um, and wait, what's the difference between a crow and a raven, like size wise? Or? Excellent question. Several differences between a crow and a raven. Um, ravens, here you go. <laughs> ravens are bigger. Um, ravens have a curved top beak, and the crows have a straight one. And then uh, ravens have a V shaped tail, crows have a straight tail. Okay. That's good to know. But the easiest way to tell is just the size, um, because ravens are much bigger. Yum. Yeah, he, he looks he looks nice. But he's man, he is loud. Yeah, he's loud. He's a little annoying. That's okay. We all have we all have those days. You know? Important thing for the crows, they uh, you more not that interested in you. You want more? Um. These guys are imprinted, and that's a physical change that happens in bird brains when they're babies. You know how ducklings follow their mom? Yeah. Because they identify with that species, right? They're born, they see their mom, they're like, I'm a duck, you know? And so when baby birds are raised by people, they can imprint on people, which means that he may never learn how to take care of himself, how to migrate, what to be scared of, what to eat, who to mate with, etc., etc. Um, and so that's why he's non-releasable. They tried dandies. Are you blind? <laughs> <laughs> they tried to release him, um, and he ended up at a park a couple miles away, like screaming at people for food like this. Oh. Being, like, now. So that's amazing that they, someone picked that up, though. They realized this was a crow in distress. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, so, if you guys find baby birds, call a wildlife rehab center. Don't try to raise it yourself because it'll probably imprint. <laughs> Poppy goes. Cool. There he goes. So, yeah, these are the crows. Very nice to meet them. You can leave that okay. on there if you want. But man, they uh, they scratch you up good. I'm, I'm gonna get a little red now. Scratchy guy. Yeah. It's it's uh it's good. It's like a souvenir. Yeah. Thanks for the scars. <laughs> That's the crows. Is it true they can talk? Yes, it is true that they can talk. They're very good at talking. Um, Corvids, crows, and ravens both are really good at talking. Yeah. Ours don't say any words yet, but they do make owl noises. Have you tried training uh, words with them? Um, not really. No, I mean, we talk to them every day. But... Okay. Sweet. Thank you. All right, we're gonna walk up here. Something over here too. There's one more thing. One more thing. To Beautiful. To show you. Someone said you're really handsome. Th thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> But it doesn't. It doesn't help me with my views, though. Someone said you're really nice. Oh, that's true. <laughs> um. Any other questions about the? He imprinted his talons on you. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. True. I will have scratches. Guys, we're gonna go. This is the last enclosure that we have out here. You see him? Oh, these are you so the foxes. Oh, the foxes. So, usually foxes do this kind of smell like popcorn. Is what I've. Binturong smell like popcorn. Okay. Bear cats smell like popcorn. These guys smell like weed. <laughs> they smell like weed? Okay. Are we allowed <laughs> to say they that? They smell like, I think so. They smell like skunks. Um, okay. It's, it's like they produce this crazy musk. Ooh. I'm ready. It's not. Ooh. Isn't that wild? Um, I don't know if it's bad or good. It's bad. It's not a good thing. I don't have a great nose and I can smell that. Um, so we have two foxes, Finn and Reed. Finn. This one, hi, you were going to come in and see him. Um, Finn was confiscated from the illegal pet trade in California by California Department of Fish and Wildlife. So somebody tried to have him as a pet, which is illegal, and did not work out for Finn. And then Reed was orphaned as a baby, born in the wild, um, and was raised by people. Hello. Uh, really <laughs> is <sorry>. this, <laughs> excuse me, it's a little tight in here. <laughs> Alright, hello. Hi, buddy. POV, you're in an elevator with Daily Dose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What? What the heck? How'd they get out? I don't know. Who let the dogs out? Who? Sorry, those are my dogs. Go. Connor! Connor! Switch with me. Okay. Come talk about the foxes. <laughs> we got dogs on the loose. Sorry, I my dogs. I live 
across from the foxes, and so these are my dogs. Doggies. Literally, who let the dogs out? Hi. It's. So. Are the. Th Hold on. Here you go. Thanks. Connor's gonna teach you how the fox. Works. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so the foxes and the dogs obviously do not like each other very much at all. They're okay. Maverick is is more of an insider. They're drama. they're listening to her. That was very nice. The foxes are pretty good. So, welcome. I'm the operations manager. Hello. Um, so what did Maya tell you already? I, we just got here. Okay, well we're going to feed them. So, they might be a little startled. But they're here. They come from California, so they're both red foxes. Uh, Reed is up here. He's the true red fox. This is Finn. If you want to kneel down, feeding. okay. We're gonna. Finn's gonna come to us. Finn. He's a little distracted. Finn. Finn. He's also a red fox, but he is bred to have that uh, gray coat. Finn. For the pet and um, oh. for a trade. I think. I think the dogs have him distracted. Yeah, big time. <laughs> and so maybe they're... Reed will come over. So they're here because Reed. Should I get he closer? was. No, they'll come to us because they're pretty skittish. Uh, Reed, the red fox uh, with the red coat, has uh, he's here because he was an orphan at a very young age and then became reliant on people. He doesn't know how to get food from the wild and only knows to get food from people. Yeah, question. So, question. Yes. Can live stream cure you? Because you don't have a mic, right? Yeah, no, or, it's, oh, it's, it's a boom mic. Oh, it's, it's a boom mic. That's yeah, what we're doing. Yeah, shot it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, got it. Uh, YouTube won't be able to see us. Or hear, I hear you. Yeah, okay. very sad. Uh, but uh, Finn over here. Here, you can approach him slowly. Yeah, he's very he, scared right now because the, the, the dogs have them spooked. Finn. Oh, it's starting to rain. It is starting he to rain. He was a pet. He was an illegal pet. And these guys make for oh really, gosh. really bad. There you go. Make for really bad pets. Do you, oh, you smell how stinky it is um, out here? It's, it's pretty stinky. Imagine this ten times more in your house. Yeah. It would smell like weed and skunks. Yeah, it's, it's not a pleasant smell. I and then they dig everywhere. You can see there's. I holes. thought I would be scared of this guy, but I'm not at all, because he's just a dog, basically. Um. Yeah. Well, hopefully, Chad's having a fun time with our foxes, because uh, Maya's back. Hello. Sorry. Friends. Yes. Yes. So I I, I have no more food, but if I had more. Hey. You want some more? Finn. Yeah, they they crunchy. It sounds like a dog too. He's a cruncher. Hi. A smelly pee dog. Oh, he doesn't like to be touched. I don't. Keep feeding yeah, him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So no touchy, but yes, feedy. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. So did you give him a whole rundown? Sorry. About I that. I stopped at they um they know the red foxes. Yeah. And they're not good pets. And we stopped at they're not good pets because they dig everywhere and they smell. They yeah, dig they're... everywhere, they stink, they poop, they pee on everything. They are, it's almost like they're wild animals uh -oh. or something. It's, it's raining. raining. This is the last outdoor segment. So. Chat, it's raining. Do you guys have any questions about Finn or Reed that I can answer for you? What Do you, you like him? Yeah, what about that guy over there? He's, a He's shy. Oh, uh, I understand. <laughs> yeah. You gotta keep feeding Finn. Finn, come over here. Oh. Okay. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> How old are they? Um, so Finn is, is it two and three? Finn is two and Reed is three. I love how every time he takes a bite, he has to look at me. Like, I can't believe it. <laughs> this, this man. Are they uh, related to dogs? They're canines, yeah. Look at this, every time he's finished eating, finish, finish, finishes eating. He's just a little scared. He has human eyes. He does have very interesting yeah. eyes. Yeah. He's, hey, he's very pretty. Um, he's got a big old forehead. Ooh. And he's very skittish. He looks spooked. Good job, Foxy. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I want to touch. What do you think? Yeah, we don't, we don't really touch him. Just hand feeding and then... But That's can it. they kind of sort of be domesticated in some sort of way? Um, technically, domestication is a process that happens over hundreds of years. Oh. Um, and so these guys can be tame. Okay, trained, yeah. Tame, but not domesticated. Yeah. They're still wild animals. 
Um, is he injured? No, he is not. Uh, he did have pins put in one of his legs uh, about a year ago, but he's fully recovered. Why, did he break something? Yeah, he broke one of his legs at uh, the last zoo he was at. Cool. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, he's very cute and very smiley and um, skittish. Yeah. Um, I'm looking for other questions. Um, guys, if that is all you have, do you have any questions about do them? This is the me? last. Yeah, this is the uh, last bit. I don't know. I mean, were, are they are they brothers? No, they're sister, not or? related, but they're both they're the same species. They're both uh, European red foxes. And they're both boys. Yes. Okay. Yep. 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 Cool. And Domestication so takes a hundred years. What about the lions in Arab countries that live with them? So, um, domestic domesticating and taming are two different things. Domestication is you're creating a different species, right? Like dogs are domesticated. Um, our chickens are domesticated. So our, our current chickens cannot breed with red jungle fowl. They're different species. It's separate lines and it takes generations to domesticate a species. Taming is just like a individual um, becomes habituated to people and that can happen with a wild animal. Should it happen in most cases, no. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, these guys just run around all over the place. Yeah. Um, so yeah, all right, guys, um, Google says domestication is a synonym for taming. Okay. Well, listen to whoever you want, <laughs> but they're different things. Um, that is it for the tour. Um, that is it for the outside section. We're going to go back inside. Daily Dose asked before the stream who Garbanzo Bean is. We're going to go back inside and do one final segment. Um, and you'll go do an interview with uh, Flip, if you wouldn't mind. Sure, yeah, that's fine. Um, and yeah, we're gonna do one more break. If you guys wanna see what happens on the breaks, if you're not subbed, sub. If you wanna Twitch Prime, Twitch Prime. Very cool, thank you. Um, and I'll see you guys in just a second. We'll be right back. Bye. Wow, 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 wow. Hello, everybody. We're back in the studio. Hello, it started raining, good timing. Um, is the stream over? No, of course not. Um, guys, I want to remind you, um, because a lot of you are not taking advantage of this opportunity to win $150 worth of gear thanks to Ally. If you just clip things from the stream and like how many clippable moments are there on the stream? It's freaking daily dose of internet. Am I right? Clip it and ship it. Clip it, post on Twitter, hashtag Ally level up, hashtag sweepstakes, and you get a chance to win $150. Thanks to Ally. Do it. What are you doing? Hammy did it. Oh my god. Okay, so we're back in we're back in the studio with uh, our friend Garbazard. Hello. And we're Hello. Whoa. I don't know if your arms are you? like that. I've never noticed your arms before. Oh really? My guns? Does you mean like a dust? Looks like feather duster. <laughs> what? <laughs> Crazy. That's crazy. Um, hello, hello, chat. Hello, Rat Pack. <laughs> hello. It is oh. I, Garbazar the Unsquishable. I am rat here. Rat Pack. Maya, how are you Welcome doing? Welcome to the today? Rat Pack. <laughs> I'm doing so good. How are you? Oh, I'm no. doing fabulous. Daily Dose, so cool. Oh my God. He's so cool. He's so, so cool. cool. Such a He's nice so guy. Cool. He's such a nice so guy. Nice. Um, we have a different game today, you guys. Uh, Garbazar, did you pay your taxes? What? Uh, the sewer has kind of a different thing going on. When you live in the sewer, oh. taxes are, you know, underground, so to speak. Oh, it's all kind under the table, folks. Different um, system in the sewers. Different, yeah. So we have a different <laughs> stupid chat feature. <laughs> we have a different uh, game for today. Um, we have a different uh, type of game. Garbazard's going to be running it. You're welcome. Um, Garbazard's yes. going to lead the way here. You're welcome. So basically, I've been feeling so oh creative uh, since I've been on this show. And I have another game for chat to play. I have been writing riddles about some of the animals at Alvius. And chat has to solve them. Uh, but since I'm a rat, they're not called riddles. Do you know what they're called, Maya? Rattles. Rattles! This is a segment yep. called Rattle Me This. Okay. 
And chat, I will tell you how to play. Uh, so I'm going to tell you a riddle and you have to solve it with the proper name of the animal I am discussing. For example, and this is just a practice one, so don't get too excited. Guess which obvious animal I'm talking about in this riddle here. Uh -oh. <clears throat> I am smooth and small enough to hold. I shed my skin of brown and gold. I am styling as I slither and I sprawl. And I get my name because I roll up in a ball. I see it. They know. Everybody knows. It's patchy. That is correct. So what you would do is write hashtag patchy into the chat, but you need to remember. Oh, the that patchy, was a okay? test. Okay. That was a test one. Totally. Guys, so you write hashtag patchy. Yeah. Okay, cool. Are we ready? Can you do that? Okay. We are ready. Okay. <clears throat> Here's the first one. Let's begin. Oh. I am a stud. It's clear that I'm strong. My voice is so deep like a bass in a song. My feet are webbed, my stare a delight. If you stand too close, your finger I'll bite. Oh. <laughs> Brockovich! Congratulations. Ch Congratulations, it was Jordi! Brockovich gets a $25 Twitch gift card courtesy of Ally. Thank you so much, Ally. Everybody say thank, thank you, you Ally. Ally. Now. So now that we got the hang of it, let's go on to number two. All right. And Maya, you can totally uh, put these on your website afterwards if you like. I can send you the text via email, uh, you know, to help totally. with the obvious marketing. Perfect. I'll just okay. tweet this whole segment out. I'll just clip the whole thing. I'm loving it. Let's go. Number two, my body is thick. I work it as I crawl. It's a hard shell, baby, and I'm climbing the walls. Chop off my head. I'm still doing my thing. I have horns on my noggin, but I ain't got no wings. I have one little trick that you don't want to miss. When I'm scared or I'm mating, I like to hiss. Do we know? Does chat know? We know. Anthony is me. Congratulations, you get a $25 Twitch gift card thanks to Ally. Congratulations! Ally, it's down there. Look, it's in the corner. Oh, you missed it. And oh, it's Barbara. Of course, it was Barbara. Ding, ding, so ding. beautiful. We love the Barbara. Okay, next. This is a favorite. My head is bald and my legs are strong. I take fast steps that are really long. I cannot fly, but I am not a bug. You know who I am by the way that I hug. That was pretty cute, actually. Virtual! Congratulations! It's Stompy. Stompy! Virtual pop. Well done. Well done. Amazing. That's a lot of hats. Stomp Stompy is so photogenic. Have you noticed that? Yeah, Stompy's beautiful. Stompy really works it when she poses. He. Stop saying NMP. Ah. Next. Okay, next. In fables and stories, I am often a star. I'm clever and swift as I run and I spar. With a tail that is long and a nose that is keen. I'm not red, I'm me. You know what I mean? That's right, it was Fen! Quote me if womps. Congratulations. It's Finn. Congratulations. Such a cutie. You know what? They're Amazing. all very photogenic. They all are all very photogenic. Guys, we only Google. have one more. This is your last chance to win a $25 Twitch gift card courtesy of Ally. Last chance. Here we go. If you haven't won, this could be your time. Uh, Mr. Fred Zan says, hashtag your mom. No, it is not hashtag my mom. Thank you. <laughs> Up next. I am gentle and meek and mild. I roam the pasture free and wild. I chill with the donks to see what they do. You know me by my musical moo. My fur is soft. My heart is pure. And lots of people in chat make jokes about eating me, which I don't really appreciate, but whatever. Sorry. Uh, Winnie made me Tay add that last part. Tay Mamu got it. It's Winnie. 
Winnie the Moon. Uh, the side eye. The side eye Winnie. <laughs> Her full name is Winnie the Moo. Yes. Very good. Good job. Congratulations, everyone. You will receive a whisper after the show with your gift card. So be on a lookout for that. And um, Maya, thank you so much. Thank you, Garbazard. Excellent work this week. Thank you. I'm going Always to go eat pleasure. some garbage now. Bye-bye. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Squeak on the way out. All right, guys. Um, that is it for our show today. Um, thank you for watching Nerve Center. Don't forget to clip your favorite from moments from the stream. Uh, tweet them out. Hashtag Ally Level Up. Hashtag Sweepstakes. You could win $150 thanks to Ally. Again, huge thanks to Ally for sponsoring all these shows. They're the reason we're able to do this. I know you guys like them. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. It's been a blast. Um, Daily Dose is wonderful. We'll be back next week um, at 11 a.m. CT. Um, with a surprise guest. Okay. Um, and that is it. Huge thank you to Daily Dose of Internet. He is uh, doing a interview right now with Flip. Um, he's still doing that. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna raid into Alveus right now so you can see what's going on on the Alveus channel. Kayla is gonna do a stream. She's gonna do a keeper talk stream. All right. So if you want to learn more about the animals and how they're taken care of from one of our zookeepers here, uh, then stick around for the raid. Really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next week. And I will say goodbye to Daily Dose for you. He was wonderful. Thank you guys for being so nice to him. Thank you guys for supporting the show. I will see you next week. Goodbye, everyone.